Hi, I'm Sarah Uris Green. And I'm John Green. And we want to thank you all for your amazing responses to Toyin's assignment. Yeah, there have been so many wonderful, intimate, indispensable GIFs. Or GIFs. Or GIFs. We've seen artists explore the indispensability of the line. Or we've seen people showing the spinning wheel of their wheelchair. Or uh, this person who showed a metaphorical heart and an anatomical brain. And the responses to the first two assignments continue to pour in and amaze us. So in the hazy distant past, before Sarah had a cold and I got a haircut, we recorded a video for you where we answered questions that we've been receiving about the art assignment. So we wanted to share that with you now. Okay. <laughs> Eric asks, how many episodes will be in each season and how much time will be between seasons? Good question, Eric. We don't know. How, how far do you want us to look into the future? Someday, Eric, we're all going to be dead. Are you ever in an airport and you look at all the people in the airport and you think about how they're all going to be dead? No. Really? Are you a terrorist? No, I don't mean like <laughs> that I'm going to kill them. I just mean like, I mean the time will kill them. Someone else asks, are there going to be any art assignments for those of us who are really poor with no car in a suburban area? I'd like to participate. Yes, actually, episodes one and two were designed for you in particular. Yeah, I, I, I think that you can do these. Uh, in fact, like several people have done them in really creative way, like that person who met their dog in the middle. Yeah, or their uh, baby in the hallway. It's really just a question of uh, how are you going to use the resources at your disposal, use the particular life that you have uh, to try to make the assignment happen. Little Bit of Loveliness asks, do the artists you feature create the assignments or is it a collaborative effort with PBS? We commission the artists to create the assignments, so they're coming directly from the artists. It's their ideas, it's what they've come up with for you. Johanna Seven Mason asks, what do you suggest I do if I don't have access to doing the full assignment? Is there something smaller I can do that has the same meaning? Well, you can interpret these projects any way you want. There are no strict rules here. But I would say that there's going to be a lot of assignments, so you can wait until there's one that you really want to do if it doesn't work for you. What are the ideas that you have for raising kids with good art appreciation? Well, I think you can talk about art with them. Kids like to talk about art, and they don't necessarily think of it as art. You can take them to museums, take them to art parks, um, talk can, about the visual wor world around you. You can show them art tumblers and Twitters and stuff. Like, you don't have to go to a museum to see art. I think it's helpful, but like, if you don't have a museum close to you, the great thing about the internet is that we have like super high-res art all over the internet now. Mm -hmm. And kids don't have any preconceptions about art, so they don't really have to unlearn anything. So it's really fun to talk about art with them. I remember once I took Henry to see a Lee Montague show, and he looked into one of them, and it's like a big dark hole and he just paused and he goes, is there a bear in there? <laughs> <laughs> NZF Penguin asks, what is your personal definition of art? I don't really have one and I'm okay with that. That's a great answer. Um, I, it's, to me it's like your personal definition of writing, like the harder you think about it and the more you get into it, the less it's definable. Right. I like the old uh, Supreme Court justice line about pornography. I know it when I see it. Our good friend Hannah Hart asks, how do you respond to the statement, I just don't like art, without being like, that's like saying you just don't like sandwiches. There are many different kinds of sandwiches. Find a sandwich that speaks to you. Oh, Hannah, you've read my mind. That is truly, truly perfect. Nasheeth asks, so my drive to work is like a Picasso? I don't know. What does your drive to work look like? Yeah, it depends on your drive to work. Rosie Designs asks, are there deadlines for each of these? I had no idea the episodes would be weekly. I'm trying to find the time to do it. No deadlines. We're going to keep reviewing videos as they come in, so don't think that there is a due date. Yeah, and we're going to show our favorites. I mean, even if it's a year from now, we'll still be showing our favorite meat in the middles and our favorite steakouts. And yeah, and we hope this is something that you can come back to again and again. Like, if you feel like doing a meat in the middle in the summer, go for it. But also do it now. Hi, us from the future again. There will be a new art assignment for you next week. But in the meantime, please follow us on Tumblr where you can see responses to art assignments every single day. There's a link below. Thank you so much for watching.